So, Brendan, you know that um, uh, there are patients who have acromegaly starting at an early age. Yes. And uh, in some of these patients, they even have family members who, who have similar conditions. Yes. And there was some research regarding this in the last couple of years. And we recognized a number of families with, with similar disease. And there is a gene which has been identified uh, in some of these families having a change, what we yes. call a mutation, yes. uh, which can cause the disease. Yes. So as we discussed this before, we wanted to check you for this. Yes. And uh, we, we had your sample and we had the test done and we found a change in this gene called AIP. Right. And uh, we think that uh, this change gives uh, people who carry this change a predisposition to develop a pituitary tumour. Right. Which in your case indeed happened. Yes, of course. And I wonder if you know anybody else in your family has a similar condition. Yes, I, I have a distant cousin uh, who suffers from the same, the same condition. Uh, She's now in her 20s. The fact that you, you have a distant relative with disease uh, mm. and the fact that we did find a change in, in your gene uh, suggests that uh, maybe other people in your family also carry this gene. Right. Dear Marta Aredin, Jara Hervendon, Kurcha Horcher Bartz Foster, Hagan Oherlin, Janishid Annalish Era El, and Isla Mach, a woman Yen is Kushlesh a rocked me in a shaw. Hegis and Foster. So if you are not a carrier, yes. then it will not follow in your children. That is for sure. If you are a carrier, then there is again 50% chance for your children to inherit the gene. If you're not carrying, which is 50% chance, then you never need to see you again. And there is negative. We see. Yeah.